Jeff Bell's off in the first special stage has changed his approach to the rally. He's been right there with his times, but there's no need to be risking everything when there's no trophy on offer. I would love to win one, but it really doesn't bother me. And it doesn't bother me if I come third or 28th, really, as long as you can go as fast as you can. And, and the organizers have been great. I mean, they're reseeding me up, so I, at least I'm, you know, I'm running basically with clear road. This morning, he's been maintaining a presence with the leaders and kicks his mark to escort along, on toward Lake Coleridge. And if somebody's OK, keep it out. Hairpin right. Ooh. Peter Sharmack's good start yesterday didn't last long. A gearbox sidelined the German descendant in SS6, and now he finds himself parked up with another broken gearbox mid SS10. Yeah, but how can I in the third gang, Klaus? The coupling is already finished. It's really a shame, you know, they are so beautiful roads. It's so nice to, to be here, you know, and the good co driver and everything is running well, you know. We are doing well yesterday and also been, been doing well this morning. And... Keith and Marianne Callanan have been working their way into contention as well. The Australians ran this car well inside the top 10 in the 08 Silver Fern, only to crash out of contention on the final day. This time, the husband and wife team from Mackay in Queensland is approaching the event more cautiously. By lunchtime today, though, they will be fifth outright in historic. It was nice and fast. There was uh, not a lot for the co-driver to do. Apparently, she was spending more time concentrating on what you were doing than what I was doing, which may not necessarily have been a bad thing. 